Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Kumar and welcome to my channel. As promised, I am going to start one new series of video in my YouTube channel that is for Apache Airflow tutorial. So, let's start for first video where I will tell you how to install Apache Airflow in Docker in Windows machine for learning purpose. Absolutely. And as promised, I am going to start new series of apache airflow because i have currently started working on airflow so whatever the knowledge i will gain from my project all the things i will discuss here and uh, so stay tuned so in the first video i am going to install apache airflow first so the last video i have already told you how to install docker and all you can uh, go to my youtube channel here only and you can search for the playlist i will anywhere i will attach the playlist where you will find the install docker in window once you have docker install in a window you will see screen like this here nothing is there also you can install vs code and integrate git bash with this so i have created a video for that also so and you can open this vs code in one folder named apache docker or you can name many things and so that whatever the work you will do we will keep it here so Let's start. So first of all, you have to check whether your Docker is up and running fine or not. So Docker is there installed or not. So for that, you have to check Docker minus minus version. It will give you the Docker version. And also you can check Docker Compose. So you can check this both before starting this. If any problem here, you can comment it and uh, anyway, you can go to my video how to install docker and you can see. So there is some problem in the code. So I have just given one single sign. You can give double sign, double this one. Okay. So you can see that docker compose version, docker is, is there. Okay. This confirm docker is there. So right now we are in this folder. Confirm it. And, and no folder is there. Okay. Right now no folder is there. So first of all, we will go to our Google and type here install Apache Airflow on Windows. Okay. It will land you on there is certain other website also. You can go through this, but I will go to the documentation. These all are also good. First, you try by yourself. If you have any problem, then you can come and watch my video. So that you can learn how this is uh, if you are getting any error or anything it will help you to to learn actually so there is no problem if you're getting error so whenever i when i have installed this one i also have googled here and there and then i'm just sharing my knowledge here so it's good to have uh, error okay so install this is this so we will use this on docker image okay let's uh, me search with this stall apache with docker with window with docker okay so this one so it will give me docker compose file so i'm looking for docker compose file okay it is saying that you need to install docker first Okay, so install docker so this is a docker compose file okay so first we need to download this one so just copy this one and uh, go to your vs code terminal and run it you can see you have the docker compose file we have to give here some extra attention here because this is docker compose file that will run and it will have the image of our uh, up our postgre as a database we are using here and also we have image of airflow okay so you need little bit basic knowledge of docker that's no problem you can just install it slowly you will learn no problem so this and all our comment so we are using the version this is the docker compose file version and this is the image name that we are going to use also along with that there is one executor so there are executor called uh, salary executor is there and the local executor is there so we will going to learn all those things but for simplicity i am just putting here local executor okay so you can also put for uh, simplicity just put here local executor and once you will do the local executor so you, we don't need this salary thing right so we can 
salary is required for salary exeter is used with this redis okay so we don't need this one so we can remove this and uh, we are using we are going to use postgre postgre database as a metadata so airflow when you you create dag task and there is xcom variable all those things you learned so internally they are storing all the metadata of the job or everything inside one database the database is nothing but the postgre database we are using so we will connect to the database as well and we will do postmortem like what and all table in as a meta data, meta uh, data we are using okay we will do all those things so just just concentrate here and uh, see what i am going to do so just first we have i have changed the salary to local and uh, i have just removing this uh, whatever the things not required and uh, environment okay this is done i will come all those things uh, is there so i will come back and explain each and every environment here or you can also google it and learn it so no problem so now uh, this is the volume we have to create this <coughs> all these three path so we'll create it is there in document okay so we we also have to remove redis dependency because we don't need uh, redis because redis is for correct salary so we are not going to the poster is is fine so this is depends also we have to move and also as well as we have to remove the service for redis so this is redis service here so let's let me delete this service also we don't need a uh, worker also we do this is the web, web server so there are two component actually the three image we are going to create first is web server scheduler and for database we are using uh, postgres so three things three main things so this is required and scheduler is required worker is not required okay this is we will delete delete worker completely okay you can just uh, minimize it at the here so we'll delete this one fine and then trigger let it be it's fine in it also let it be and uh, there is one more flower will be there yes this all this is a monitoring tool we are going to to learn this one but right now it is not required so you can monitor this thing all those things so this is the monitoring tool so this also not required right now we don't need this one okay so, so that's fine you just delete all those things that's fine and then we will go to our document again so here we have done these things so we'll just read it what is what is the ws scheduler web server worker in it post gray i told you this database and this is redis broker that forward message from scheduler to worker that is for uh, that is used for salary uh, executed when we are, use, we are using salary executed that time it is required so we are not using we are using just local so this message message forwarding things is not here for when that's why we are just deleted this redis thing so we just need this one okay and as this is this is flower flower app for monitoring the environment it is available here okay this also we don't need if you need you can you can don't delete and check it so this is for see see this is architecture is for salary executor and for that we will go to here also we will go and learn but just for this video we will we are concentrating on installation part okay so after that we need to create this three files three folder so dag folder where we will put the dag where we will put the dag means uh, our all the python file will be there that is the dag is composed of python file and all the plugins will be here and whatever log will be there it will be here so three things required we'll go through so once it will be done let me create this one this is required okay we'll come back here and create it so it will create three files see dag log and plugin that done so again we will go to so this is all things not required this is for when if you read, read it carefully you will understand that this is for linux system so this is for windows system only this much 
and after that once you will do this thing so you need to run this compose file okay so after you init it it will initialize the things and uh, i mean database metadata it will initialize in it will create the metadata uh, database and it will create the user and all those setup it will do so we'll just run this command where it is run it it will take some time so i will just pause my video and i will come back again here okay so this is done i got some error message here but we'll try to fix it so let's see what and all things it has installed so docker ps you can see there is nothing is there so there is some problem here and uh, it is saying that error response from daemon user decline directory is sharing so there is some problem in my directory so let me go to one step back okay and we will give this all permission so my file is this one okay so i have given all permission didn't change actually mm -hmm. let me run that command again see what is happening so we run docker compose again okay i am in document so let me go to first airflow docker and here we will i will run this command it is saying that okay desktop docker you want to share okay this option i need to enable it yes share it okay. so that time uh, it was not came because i have just left my laptop like that and i have didn't see so that option it will ask to give the permission so you need to give the permission here again it is running and uh, we have to wait it wait for some time so i will pause my video and we will come back again After that, you can clear this and you can see Docker PS. So currently, this one is Postgres up and running fine. So this is fine. So it created our it is it got initialized and created the metadata and all the table related table for that should required for running the Airflow. It is created there. We'll see that table as well. But after that. But before that, we have to run the Docker com compose command again in background. That will create our that will run our executor and a web server. So command is Docker compose. Okay, Docker compose up, and we will run it in background. So minus D, it will run in detached mode in background. So it will also take some time. You can see we have given a Postgre image here, and uh, their username and password is Airflow and Airflow. So we can use Airflow, Airflow username and password, and also we have given a database as the Airflow. So this created database Airflow. So we we'll log in there and we'll see no problem. Let it create this one. So it is creating web server scheduler and trigger. So we have 
used here right so web server scheduler and trigger and init so discreting all those things let's wait for some time okay allow allow we yeah, allow whatever things will come we need to allow that's fine allow okay so now we will check docker Yes, and we can see we have scheduler, trigger, web server, and this is up and running fine. Okay, so after that, we will go to our local host, we'll go to our browser and run here local host and 8080. Okay, what is the port number? Port number is 800, correct? So, what is the problem here? My tweet will take some time to make it up. So, yeah, so you can see this is up and running fine. It took some time, so don't worry, wait for 2 3 minutes, it will up, and then you have to log into Airflow username and password is also airflow so congratulations we have successfully installed airflow in docker in windows machine so thank you very much for watching so in the next video we will learn about how to create the DAG and, and the architecture of airflow so thank you very much keep watching keep supporting Thank you very much.